These things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. Verse 7. In which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. Verse 8. But now we are new. But now you yourselves are to put off these things. What do we put off? Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Verse 9. Do not lie to one another. Uh oh. Since you have put off the old man with his deeds. Verse 10. So wait, wait Tom. When a lie comes up, what are we going to do? No, no, no. That was the old, I was a liar. I don't lie anymore. Even a little lie, just say the truth in Jesus' name. Amen? So sometimes somebody can call me, and what happened? You didn't call me. I, said, I was going to say, I was busy. I said, no, you know what? I didn't do it. I didn't have time. I forgot. Just say the truth, and then just keep on going. Not a lie to cover up why you didn't do such and such. <coughs> Amen? Just say the truth, and, and face the, 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 the hate at that moment, and just go forward. Amen? One more time. And put on... I'm sorry, and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him, verse 11, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all, verse 12, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on. Now these, before we had to take off these things, right? Now this is what we're going to put on from here on in. We're going to put these on ourselves. Ready? Go. Put on tender mercies. Hold on. Can I give you mercy, but it's not tender mercies? So what's he saying? Tender mercy. Some of you girls, ladies know how to give tender mercy, and some of you don't. Um, and men, uh, Tender mercies. Amen? Ten, one more time. Ready to go. Put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering. Thirteen. Bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another. Uh-oh. If anyone has a complaint against another. How many of us have a complaint against someone else? I'll start off first. Okay? All right? So, if anyone has a complaint against another, let's read. Ready? Go. Even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Verse 14. But above all things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. The glue. Verse 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. To which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. 16. <coughs> Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Verse 17. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Verse 18. Okay, ready? So now, this is our final instructions. Uh, ready? How many are wise here? Raise your hands, wise. Not everybody raise their hands, but some of them don't even want to raise their hands. Okay? okay. I'm, I'm going to get everybody, so everybody's going to get one here. Yeah, don't worry about it. Believe me. Okay? Everybody's going to get here. Ready? Why? Ready? Submit to your own husbands as they speak in the Lord. Verse 19. Husbands. How many husbands? Okay, ready to go. Husbands, love your wives and do not be bitter towards them. Ready to go. Uh, ready to go. Children, I, I mean Angelique, Angelica, Angel, already. Uh, children, obey your parents in some things, in all things, for this is well pleasing to the Lord. Twenty-one. Father. 
Fathers, do not provoke your children, Alexis, lest they become discouraged. So fathers, do not provoke your children. So correct them, but do not provoke them, lest you may become discouraged. Got to be careful, fathers, on that one. I mean, you'll be that. Uh, but I repent in Jesus' name. Let's see all of them. 22, ready to go. Bond servants. Obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in sincerity of heart, fearing God. Who's a bond servant? These workers. So, uh, it was that work, that's what he's talking about, bond servant. So, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service. So, don't do things just when they're looking. Uh, to, uh, so that you can just get over, and then when they're gone, ah, what does he think he is, and I can do whatever I want. So, because the Lord sees that, and that could be a blessing blocker in our lives. Let's read that one again, because we should be the best employees, the best business owners in, in, the, in the world. Amen? Read it, go. Bond servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in sincerity of heart, fearing God. Why? Verse 23. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. So whatever job you're doing, don't think that you're doing it for the commissioner, for a mayor, for a boss, for a wife. Do it like it will be unto God. Okay? And when we have that attitude, you're going to get promoted. Because we're doing everything, and God is looking. Can the boss always see what we're doing? No. But can God always see what we're doing? Yes. Okay, so read it again. Let it go. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. Verse 24. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. Verse 25. But he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done, and there is no partiality. If God is not going to respect the person, if we do right, we're going to be blessed. If we do wrong, we're going to pay that consequence. Amen? Amen. Amen. So now, uh, finishing up John, James 4, verse 4, we are new creations. Let's all read. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? With whoever, therefore, wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. So we're going to get all things are new. How many here like new things? And we should like new things, man. New cars, new houses, new clothes, new everything. New husband, don't want me to know. New wife, no, no. New things, everything new. God likes to give us new things. Re uh, uh, Revelation 21 one through eight, God is going to make all things new. Ready? Read. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no more sea. Verse 2. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, Ladies, get new pajamas. <laughs> Don't wear the old stuff that makes you comfortable, okay? Yes or no? I got a lot of more ladies. So, Men, get new underwear, get new t-shirts. Also, all right? Not the comfortable thing. Get them new stuff. Ready? Go. We're going to laugh because we're saved. Amen? Amen. And then verse 2. I'm sorry, verse 3. Ready? And I heard a loud voice from heaven say, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. This is good news. Verse 4. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Verse 5. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for 
for these words are true and faithful. Verse 6. And he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirst. Verse 7. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. And verse 8. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So now, in closing, we must receive the blessings of God into our lives, and we must also learn how to bless God. So today, I, Fee, and Randy bless God by presenting these children to him. They didn't have to do that. They chose, they weren't forced to do it, right? So we need to understand that when we do something like that, God is pleased because he says, my children are understanding. Uh, to bring me all their cares, all their troubles, that I will handle it in Jesus' name. So you see, and we presented them to God. Amen. Those of you who to see, right? So now we have to learn how to bless God. So you say, how can I bless God? Psalms 103. Ready? That's all we read. As we're reading this, we're saying it to God, okay? It's very bold. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Verse 2. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Verse 3. Who forgives all our iniquities. Make it personal. Who heals all of my diseases. That's good news, right? Amen. Verse 4. Who redeems my life from destruction. Who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies. Verse 5. Isn't that good? Amen. Who satisfies my mouth with good things so that my youth is renewed by eagles. Amen? Verse 6. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. Verse 7. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. Verse 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in mercy. Verse 10. It's important to read Psalms when you're not feeling well. Ready to go. He has not dealt with me according to my sins, nor punish me according to my iniquities. Verse, who took our punishment? Jesus. Jesus did. Okay, Jesus took it. Verse 11. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed my transgressions, from me. Verse 13. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. And we know the word fear is not to be afraid of God, right? Fear is to worship, to revere, to respect God. So those who respect God, all right? God does not want us to be afraid of him. Amen? Verse 14. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. Uh, verse 17. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children. Verse 18. To such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them. How many commandments do we have? Only two. Okay. Verse 19. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Verse 20. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Verse 21. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. 
And last verse for today, 22. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, all my soul, in Jesus' name. Amen. All head bowed, all eyes closed. With, uh, the altar call, we're going to have three altar calls today.